Right now, for this bit, we got Garda Mick to approach two blokes, telling him he was caught short and in desperate need of a pee. But he was meant to be on the lookout for Mads or Murphy, a local hood. So if they wouldn't mind keeping the sketch for him while he goes for a slash. Oh, and under no circumstances should they approach Madzer, but instead call Mick on his mobile if he shows up. Lads, you couldn't do us a favour, could you? I'm trying to look up for someone here. I caught a bit shorter. This lad's here. That's a Murphy, right? Right, I've been caught a bit short. I need to run for a quick piss. Can you see him? Do not approach him. Just stand over there first. If you could just stand. See Black Toy. If you could just stand down there, maybe. Just for just for a quick second. You'll give him a phone number. Can I give you a number? Right. I just need. I listen. It'll be two minutes. Guard, guard, Mick. Good man, Mick. Good man. Two Scottish lads. That's perfect. There's a guard car over there. You can see. Look, we're being covered, right? We just. If you see him, though, I'll give you a bill, and I'll be out in two shakes of it. You know yourself, right? Give us a second, boys. Well done, Nicky Dennis. Hang on, then we're going to see if they do us. Look at the two of them. They stand there. Ah, uh, here comes Madzer. Who'd have thought? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hang on a second, they're out to look at I'm looking at the picture. What you gonna do when they come for you? When you were eight and your head bad tree. Where's Madzer Murphy now? He's standing right in front of them. <laughs> here, he's ringing me now. Hang on a second. Hello? You've seen who? The boy. I've been talking to him. Well, what are you doing now? What he's actually doing, and what we've been catching him doing, is robbing people at the cash machines. Just hang on, we'll be around there in two seconds, right? Do not approach the subject. Nicky, can you hear me? Yeah. Just give it a few seconds now, and then just leg it back around, right? Right, okay. Nice to see you. you? Can you, can you yeah, 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 where? Behind me. Behind me. Right, I can't see him, lads. He's left the show. Me. Behind me. Directly behind me. Oh, right, okay. I'm gonna have to chase him, lads. You couldn't give us a hand, would you? Are you kidding me? You'll be covered. If you've got any air detectors around on your ground, I think he's armed up. That's the problem. Yeah. You having a weapon on you, have you? Yeah. We've got a stand on the knife, that's any help, do you? <laughs> Don't know if I can use. I don't know if I can use a Stanley knife now, you know. <laughs> start running after your man. Go on. Okay. Start okay, running after your man. That's it. <laughs> what kind of a shit run is that? Jesus. Well done, Nicky. <laughs> That's deadly. Now, it's easy to scoff at the job done by the boys in blue, but it isn't easy being on the beat, out on your feet all day in all sorts of weather. So we thought, why not bring Mick indoors and let him take the weight off his feet? How's it going? If you spot any trouble, you have my number. 999. Go for it, Nicky. Make, make the noise of the cop car. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> woo, 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 woo! <laughs> well done. <laughs> woo! Let's just slow it down a little bit. Slow what down? Just the, the walking, you know, it's, it's a little, uh, it's a new road. It's a new road? Yeah, I'm at the pavilion now. What we're doing is we're trying to keep a five miles per hour, okay? Well, I have the siren here. Look, ready? <laughs> well done, Nicky. You press that, that, you press that there. I see the corner. Tell her to press it. You press that. <laughs> do it again, do it again. There's <laughs> three different ones. Where are you after? Oh, yeah. Out. Where's out? Outside. There's the door there, there's look. The oh, yeah. Wait, wait, that door. Sorry, don't be so fast. Don't be so hasty. Don't be so fast. Don't be so hasty. Why am I only chatting to you for a minute? No, no, I'm just going out that door to get the bus fight. Like. Where are you going to? There's no oh, buses out that door. Three trees around it. It does not. It does not. 43. Let me check that. 43 from 24. Come here for a second now. Don't be running away. Don't be running away. Just just stay there for a second. 43 from 24, over. Make sure he follows you. Keep walking right. and make him. Walk just around the circles. Walk around the circles. Just going to check in there, uh, uh, a guy. Keep <laughs> walking around the circles. <laughs> Come on. He's, uh, he's looking for a bus. Walk for back the other way, Nicky. Walk going back the other way. Fort, going to a 43. <laughs> make sure he follows you. <laughs> Attention all units, attention all units. Be sure to stay tuned for part two when Garda Mick doorsteps his parents, sets up his best mate and two of Ireland's sporting legends. <laughs> Welcome back to Celebrity Garda Patrol, where in part one we took pop heart throb Westlife's Nicky Byrne and turned him into Garda Mick Byrne. 
gotten to pick up some pink snacks, tell walkers to slow down, and introduce the latest in Garda transport. So as the new cop in town, Garda and Mick wanted to meet some of the local bigwigs. And where better to start than the doorstep of Bertie's in-laws and that lovely lad from West Life's mum and dad. Sure, you might get an old autograph while he's there too. Mr. and Mrs. Byrne, how are you doing? Yeah, doing well. Not too bad. Does he, do you ever get people asking for autographs first? Well, like, it sees down now a lot, hasn't it? Yeah, in, the, in years. See, years I, years. I... I I'm, I'm from Mayo, you see, and I'm, I'm just up north in Dublin, you know, and I had to see where he lived, you know. Yeah, could you call him even, though? I'd love to speak to him. No. Would he not be your own, no? Say, it's, it's, it's not really for me, it's for, it's for the it's wife. It's not for me, but it's for, it's for the wife, you know. Because to be honest, she's, say, to be honest, I don't, I'm not honest, really a fan. I, 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 it's nice to see where he lives in now, but I'm not a fan, you know. I, I've heard of boys on leads, you know. <laughs> boys on leads would be great. Is there any chance of tickets to Crow Park? I know it's sold out. Is, but... there, is there any chance of tickets for Crow Park, no? Well, there's actually he said there's no chance whatsoever. Really? Unless you're part and parcel of the setup. Right. Can you get one? Well, we get a VIP pass, so access oh. all areas. And if, if I offered you any. It's harder this year because it's what they call getting a bribe from the guys. Huh? Yeah, I couldn't see his room, no. Or an autograph. Give me something so I can. <laughs> Sandra. Here's his photograph there, look. Have a look at it. No, I don't want to be sitting in front of your house now, you know. Ah, no, I wouldn't do that. I'd have a quick, a quick look, a quick look, I think. Two, Mum and Dad, what can I say? I couldn't have done Ah, here, I'd better pop in before Mick stays for tea. Mum, it's me. How is? <laughs> can we disturb you here for a minute there? I don't believe you. Did you fucking die, did you? Do you know when you just was going to have a one day? Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at me. Mr. and Mrs. Bourne, well done. <laughs> Right, with the man down the bag, time to set up a mate. And not just any mate, but Nicky's best mate, Paul. Nicky really wants to get him good, so we roped in Lee to play our hood, Cahill to be Mick's partner on the beat, and set up a drugs bust on the bonnet of Paul's car. Will Paul cop who the cop is? Will Nicky have the balls to arrest his best mate? So many questions. Yeah, come here, come here, Just chill out, now. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Just relax. Relax. Relax, I said. Go, go, go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Give me grand. Give me grand. Oh, deadly, deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Yeah. Look at his face on him. Bundle him in the car. Stay there. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all right. Relax, now. Relax. Tell him his red looks dodgy. Leave it on there. 05 Delta 3965 Take stuff out of it. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Look at his car, Mr. Owen, no? This is great. Look at him, he's so. We don't know what's going There's on. There's a problem with the res there. Huh? There's a problem with the res there, Mr. Owen. You stopped before, no? Never stopped before? No drugs in this car, no? You know that man in the back there? You don't know him. Come here, just come here for a second. <laughs> oh, shut. Do you know him? I don't know. Have you ever seen this man before? I'm I've never said eyes in you before. <laughs> don't start telling lies, because they might be nice, <laughs> but I won't. Because I don't want to hear you. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. You're lucky there, just fucking there. I'm going to use a bit of a here, you know? Yeah, I think there is. This is your car. Yeah, we work there. Okay, okay, I'm going to be apologies about that. So I've been involved in a big trouble there. Oh, right, okay. Come on, find your way, pal. Yeah. Give that to that fuck face there. So, what are we going to do, Mike? What are we doing to this, pal? <laughs> You're a good-looking man. Is this a wind-up? Shall we arrest you now, or shall we take you home? Make that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Paul. Jason Bourne, how are you? Well done, Nick. You know, I didn't know that. I was supposed to cook you and everything. You were shaking on me. I can't see it. Good man again, Gareth. 
Yeah, yeah. I told you I got a deck for your uncle. I fucking won't. <laughs> <laughs> they might be noisier, but I fucking won't. <laughs>